All right, so welcome everyone. We are starting a new series on cloud security. So you see most of the cloud security breaches that happen, it does not happen because of advanced hacker. Most of the time it happened because of simple misconfiguration in the cloud, okay? And in this video, we are going to look at security posture assessment. So basically how quickly, I mean, how to quickly understand whether your AWS environment is actually secure and compliant with the CIS benchmark. What is CIS benchmark? Basically, it's a, you know, it's a globally recognized security best practices for securing your cloud infrastructure services. So I'll show you how the tools like Prowler can automatically scan your AWS account and identify some risky configurations across IAM, which is identity and access management, S3 bucket, uh, EC2 instances, logging, and many different other services. And we'll give you a clear compliance report and risk report at the end as well. And we won't stop there in theory. We will also go in detail, a practical cloud security assessment to review findings, to perform risk assessment, and we'll uh, learn how to fix them and why it's so important, right? So if you are an aspiring, you if you are aspiring to become a cloud security engineer or SOC analyst, and you or maybe you simply want to learn about uh, cloud security or AWS security, this video is definitely for you. And uh, to assist me for this video, I'll have Aman with me. Hi, Aman. How are you? Hi, I'm great. All right. So. I mean, let's show us uh, what you have today for us and um, let's quickly guide us through the project, okay? Yeah. So you can probably share your screen. So here you can see we have two projects. One is for the home lab uh, and we also have a practical AWS cloud security posture assessment using Prowler. So today we will be covering this project. Okay. As you can see, you can Start the project. Uh -huh. You mean the uh, home lab is where uh, you will guide how to set up the brawler and how to set up the AWS account. And this is about, this starts after that, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, perfect. So now you here you can see we have task one, which is we have to run the CIS benchmark. Okay, that's so we'll our task to... one of this entire project, okay. Yeah. So currently, you already have the Prowler setup done. We are just going to go through the practical uh, cloud security assessment, right? Yeah, right. Okay, perfect. Let's go. So let's go to our server where the Prowler is already set up. Okay, so uh, just sorry, I might interrupt you in between. I just want to make sure our students have a clear idea. So okay. we need to have a separate server, right? Linux server or Ubuntu server separately, and that will connect to our AWS in moment, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay, now this is our Linux server where mm. Prowler is already installed, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay, perfect. Mm. So as our first step was to scan the CIS benchmark, let's copy this one. Mm -hmm go to our terminal okay so this, this command yeah. will uh, start launch the scan on yeah. all aws services based on cis benchmark right security mm -hmm. best practices right okay so as this scan will take up to let's say if you have a aws account which is freshly set up then it may take around 10 minutes but let's say you have any ec2 instance running or S3 buckets, then it may take up to more than 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. So, so as, is it possible? Can we, because it's a lab environment and mm. uh, we don't want to wait so long. So can we possibly skip EC2 or maybe if in the real world as well, if somebody don't have a specific service, can we exclude those services in the from the checks? Yeah, for that, we will add an excluded services, let's say. And the service which we have to exclude, we have to mention here. Let's okay. say we have to exclude EC2 and also RDS. And you can add multiple services. Okay. 
So yeah. whatever we need to exclude from this checks, we can just keep on adding those, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's launch it. All right. Trawler, mm -hmm. the beautiful logo. Um, all right. I think it's started. Yeah. Here you all can right. see so it is scanning. We can pause the video and then we can come back. All right. So the scan is complete, right? Yeah. Can we see something in the dashboard? I think we got a report as well in the HTML. I saw somewhere. Can we go on to the bot? Yeah, probably at the bottom we have a report as well, right? Yeah, let, let me in show you. The command line itself. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, in the HTML file, yeah. right? But mm. we also have a dashboard as well that we can open up, right? Yeah, you can see for that. Let's run this command. Mm -hmm. Sure. So our dashboard is running on this URL. Uh -huh. Let's open that. Okay. So this is how the dashboard really looks like, right? Yeah. Perfect. perfect. Awesome. So I think our task one is complete now. So you can complete yeah, So let's task make it yeah. completed. Right. So the task two is about what? Can you open the task two? Um, so the task two is about risk mapping of CIS failure. So for that, we probably need the uh, XML file or uh, I mean, HTML file. So can you open or uh, download that HTML file on your machine? Yeah. This is the one which we have to open. Okay, so you're using WinSCP to download the file from the server to your local machine, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So let's open that up. Let me download it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Now let me open the file. Okay. Yeah, this is the file. Okay, perfect. So uh, we have quite a lot of, I mean, um, checks failure, I guess. So can we look at, uh, can we apply some filters in it? Yeah, let me apply the filter. Okay, so let's look at the critical and high, maybe. Let's see in critical. Uh, yeah, can you select critical and high both? Okay, no. uh, can uh, you come back? I think we can select only one. Okay, let's select both hmm. critical and high. Okay, if no I problem. select high, yeah. Okay, let's focus on the critical then. Because it's open source, so we still have limited functionality available, I guess. Yeah. So it's okay. Let's yeah. come back to the dashboard. Let's implement it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. No problem. Come back. Okay. So perfect. Yeah. I think there's a glitch in it. Yeah. Perfect. Hmm. All right. So these are all Let's critical. But these are, is this failed one? I don't think this is failed one because this yeah, we failed. have both like pass okay, and perfect. fail. Hmm. All right. So uh, as you can see in the task two, can you show up the, show the task two probably? Okay. So in the task two, our student need to select the failed CIS control from task one and then identify the exact misconfiguration, define the realistic attack path and uh, assess the business impact and security assessment or so business and security impact. So usually what happens is as a part of risk assessment, can you go a little, can you scroll it up? Yeah, perfect. So whenever we get any misconfiguration or any threat or any vulnerability, we have to perform the risk assessment or risk mapping in a way that depends on what kind of uh, misconfiguration we have and what is the attack scenario we have and what's the business impact. Okay. And if both are high, then the possibility, the severity or the risk associated with this also high. Okay. So if we consider even a public, let's say S3 bucket. Okay. So in our case, let's verify if we have any S3 bucket publicly exposed. So can we go to the report? Yeah. So can yeah. we see if the S3 bucket is publicly exposed? So probably we can think about can um, prioritizing it or fixing it maybe. Let's add one more filter for S3. Okay, sure. Let's add a filter for S3 then. 
you can remove the critical probably then probably will should see the s3 as well on the service name yeah perfect this is the Okay. okay we have some. so do we have anything publicly exposed because usually if you expose your s3 bucket and if it is a sensitive data you have a possibility of data breaches or data exfiltration right which is not a good practice so it seems like uh, you have a failure for s3 bucket and i think what's the name of this bucket it's a cloud trail it's, right yeah cloud trail so there is a cloud trail bucket which is publicly exposed and uh, yeah, we, we are have. not sure if it is supposed to be, but it's supposed to be blocked usually as a part as a part of best practice. So as a part of risk mapping, we are going to map this uh, this uh, specific misconfiguration to high or maybe critical. OK, so our task two is also done where we have mapped this to the high priority or the critical one. Right. So that's complete yes. risk mapping. Let's move to the task three then. Okay, so the task three is about remediation plan and security hardening. So we got uh, our high priority risk, a high priority misconfiguration, which is our cloud trail, which is currently publicly exposed. So as a part of remediation, which is definitely needed because it's a high priority and critical one. Um, Aman, can you guide us? How can we go to the AWS and block the public? And if we can personally uh, validate and block if it is true, yeah so as our s3 bucket was cloud trail so let's move to our aws first for the s3 okay hmm. all right can you minimize the uh, your browser a little so that we yeah. can see all of them yeah perfect so as we have three buckets uh -huh. The one which we got was Cloud Trail. Cloud Trail. Okay. Yeah. Let's open it. Go to its permission. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We oh, have yeah, the on. block all public accesses off. Okay. It's supposed to be on, but on. Cloud Trail locks are what? I mean, it's keep a track of all the activity, all the or everything happening in the AWS, right? So I yeah. think user uh, internet shouldn't know about what changes are we having in the cloud trail or in our AWS account. So it's it's supposed to be private for sure, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it in private. We yeah, perfect. And save changes. Awesome. All right. So that's a great job, Aman. And um, yeah, it's done. So as a part of practical cloud security posture assessment, um, a, a cloud security engineer is supposed to rescan and revalidate as well. So we have completed all of our tasks. And at the end, you can you can also complete the MCQ for this task as well. All right. So I hope you guys like this uh, entire project. And um, Aman, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, if you have you. any questions, do let me know in the comment section.